Hey, good morning. Reporting live from Smoky, San Francisco. It is so bad today. I can't even begin to tell you like the amount of wildfires that are going on right now up and down the state. We had to wear a mask because of COVID and now we gotta have a, have a second purpose of wearing these because of the smoke. Look how bad it is right now. I have not seen it this bad in, in a while. And that's kind of saying something living in California. I'm at Mount Davidson right now and I was out here to shoot sunrise because during like smog and during like smoky mornings like this, the sun tends to turn all red. It looks kind of cool, but it's kind of <laughs> unhealthy to also be inhaling this much smoke at this elevation. So I'm not going to take too much time up here and we're going to head back down real soon. Time to go get some coffee. Surprising news. I'm actually too early for the coffee shop to open. Right now it's 7.43 a.m. It opens up at 8 a.m. I have not been up this early in such a long time. Remember, like I sleep at like 3 a.m., wake up at 11 a.m. on the daily, but today I just wanted to kind of change it up, which kind of coincides with uh, today's video topic. How do people wake up like this every day? That's good stuff. Thank you, Andy Town. So lately, as some of you may probably already know, I'm uploading way less now, not two times a week, only like once a week and on sporadic days, only because the business is coming back together. And in today's video, I want to share a couple of things that I did that maybe you could apply to run a successful creative business amidst the pandemic. Um, so let's get to it. If you haven't already, you should start diversifying your skills. Like if you're a photographer, a videographer, a graphic designer, what have you by trade, you should start becoming a Swiss army knife of a human being or an artist because we have so much time as artists to stay inside and to like learn something new. So for myself in particular, I learned video editing. I learned video making through obviously this YouTube channel and for other video clients as well. And I did them for free so that I can kind of like get my reps in, learn how to color grade and all this other stuff. It, it took a long time because I started in January seriously. And I like worked on color first, then sound next, then this next, then that next. And now that business is coming back, I could not only sell my photography skills, but I can also upsell them on my video skills. One thing that I want to work on next is music production. So learning how to make like my own like tunes, some beats and whatever, so I can like, you know, create some custom music for my clients and custom music for this channel. I think that would be super duper sweet. So yeah, diversifying your skills would be a great thing to do right now because say for example, your graphic design business is not doing too well, but you know how to do web development and you know how to take photos. That's another service that you could sell, if not upsell for your clients. Yes, you should definitely start a YouTube channel. You should start sharing the knowledge that you have in your art form. Now, I would love to see a very active, creative graphic designer or Adobe Illustrator master on YouTube. And if that's you, you should definitely jump onto the platform and start sharing your knowledge and do it in a creative way. I think all types of creative people should jump on YouTube and share what they have done because you never know what may come of it. Start by teaching what you know. And when you teach what you know well, it shows that you have mastery over it at some capacity, right? You also don't even have to put a lot of pressure on yourself to make a great video. You're just teaching what you know and kind of expressing yourself and sharing your knowledge with the rest of the world. Share it on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. It doesn't have to be a banger of a video. Just kind of document what you're learning or what you have already learned. And I'm sure that some people will watch it and boom, with that ever-growing catalog, 
you will attract some people that you thought you could never attract before in terms of clientele. Come on, y'all. It's 2020. All of us creative people should have some form of like video making skills because the power of video is so tremendous and so spectacular. Don't sleep on it. I kid you not. I booked a high ticket wedding client only because I made these two videos, which is the 24 video and the Asian American dropout video. And the bride really liked the cinematics and the storytelling that I had in it, that she hired me right on the spot for a high ticket price without me even having a wedding video portfolio. I can definitely do it. I didn't have a portfolio, but with this YouTube catalog that shows nothing about weddings, she really loved what I got and we are shooting a wedding in 2021 for video for the first time. So you never know what may come of it. You should start a YouTube channel and start sharing your knowledge right now. Oh, my shirt smells like smoke. Exercise helps out so much mentally, physically, all your healths. Like it takes care of all of that because with everything that's going on and we're trying to run a successful creative business amidst a pandemic, a lot of stress builds up, a lot of anxiety builds up. So a healthy way to exert that, to like let that go, is through lifting, through running, and all that other stuff. It's for a video, sorry. Do not ever forget to market yourself. Now that could mean a broad spectrum of things. So here's a couple examples. Say you're a photographer and you're into weddings. One thing that you can do is run Facebook ads. Now a strategy that I've used personally is to run a Facebook ad that promotes a free engagement shoot. Now that is very attractive to a lot of people and you could like say that, oh, only like three to five winners can win. So a lot of people are going to apply to be part of that three to five winners. A lot of people are going to apply and they're going to get to know your brand like through this Facebook ad because before this Facebook ad even began, these people didn't even know who you were to begin with. So with a free shoot possibly coming their way, they want to apply, they'll get to know you, they'll see your work. Now immediately you won't be earning any money from that, but when you do those engagement shoots and when you share those photos online through Instagram, through Facebook, I even have a strategy that you can use Instagram stories to advertise your services. Once you get that going, a lot of people will start hiring you because you are still putting out good work and you are attracting way more people than you have before. Another thing that you could do is get involved with your community with your new skills or your current skills, whatever it is. For myself, uh, with the Black Lives Matter protests uh, going around the Bay Area, I've actually been video recording and doing a lot of like social media work for a couple movements here in you know the community that I live in. And it's been kind of... Uh, a surprising thing that how well like my videos are getting out like it's getting spread across the nation and I didn't know that my videos would be that good I'll link them down below some of them use copyright music so I can't like show it here don't be doing it in a capitalistic scummy way and charging for that kind of stuff like that's that's not good like try to try to do it um, in a way that you're you're really genuinely wanting to help your community because nobody wants some scummy capitalistic fool trying to get involved only to get a dollar. And of course, the one that we dread a lot, update your portfolio, update your website. I know it's like a very like tedious, very like ugh, busy work kind of thing, but do it. I know a lot of us like neglect that kind of thing because we don't know if anybody's gonna look at it or whatever, or maybe you are very good at it. But for myself, when I updated my wedding portfolio, my wedding website, Oh my gosh, I didn't know that it was that trash until I updated it. Luckily for me, I'm part of a Facebook group full of other like wedding photographers and two guys were willing to give me some really helpful critique on my website and they said like a lot of things are inconsistent. A lot of things need to be changed. Some uh, copyright needs to be changed and when we uh, worked together and uh, edited some uh, photos, re-edited a lot of photos, oh my gosh. The portfolio looks way better. I have no idea what I was thinking before, but it looks so much better now. And um, when I got my new clients in, I have like, I think 13 weddings for 2021 now, and I have three weddings 
for the rest of this year. When they saw that uh, website, the newly revised website, I got a much better reaction uh, to that compared to before. Not saying that the old reactions were bad, but these are much better. So get to it, get some dusting and cleaning on your portfolio. I know it's like very busy work, but those are just a few things that I want to share to run a successful business. Um, there's obviously a lot more tips uh, that uh, anybody else can share. So leave a comment down below for the rest of the community to learn from you personally. Start that YouTube channel. I think that's like one of the biggest things that you can do right now in shelter in place and all that jazz. So thank you guys for watching. I will throw a couple more tips like at the end I didn't want to like chit chat about, but I will see you guys in the next video. Like, subscribe, do all that thing. See you soon. Peace.